Hey, this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program, and in this video, I want to demystify talking about the higher self and the lower self. And so this was a big presentation that I gave at my live event and we live streamed some of that presentation um, for all of my fans. And it's got a lot of people talking and it created a big impact at the event. So I'm gonna do a series of videos where I try to really demystify this idea of talking about the higher self and the lower self. Now talking about the higher self and lower self, I've been um, learning that by reading the books of um, Ava Paracos, which you can find, it's The Pathwork or um, The Pathwork to Transforming the Lower Self. But it's really not such a hard concept to grasp, especially when you think of using the chakras as a lens. It's just that when we talk about higher self and lower self, it's usually in the terms of consciousness work, of personal development and evolution work, of transformational work, and it's always focused on transcending the ego and getting rid of our purifying our negative impulses and becoming more and more zen and more and more one. However, when we look at the higher self and the lower self, we see some different things when we actually look at our life and how we look at our mission, the things that we want to do and people we want to help, and our money, the way we want to earn money. So this is one lens that I can use to talk about what does it mean to do um, personal development work or activities or practices that are focused on the higher self versus the lower self. Because right off the bat, we think lower self, that sounds bad. And I mean, I guess you could say it is. It's our bad sides. It's the animal side of you that walks more heavily on the planet, which, which is sort of the opposite of your higher self side or your upper chakras, when you think of the chakra system, that walk lightly, that sort of float over the planet, right? So here's the thing. When it comes to your mission and all of the impact that you want to have, when you think about your higher self, what your higher self brings to your mission is the, ah, uh, the mission part of it, right? This um, unselfish desire to help hundreds of people, thousands of people to just make an impact, to not only help people one by one, but sometimes it expands out, right? And it's like, I want to help the world. I want to transform people and that's going to transform the world. And so from our mission perspective, our higher self is very much engaged in humanity and global healing and oneness and that calling to be um, philanthropic, that calling to rise above my personal needs and actually give in a way that's amazing and helps transform the world and people, um, whether one by one or like a ripple in a pond affecting everybody. Okay, so why do I need a lower self when it comes to my mission? Well, the, your lower self has all of the power and all of the energy and all of the passion and all of the um, energy that comes into your action and it brings all of that into your mission because in your lower self, your mission is, yes, I want to impact a lot of people, but I want to be the one to do it. I actually want to use my talents and my gifts and my experience and my passion in my hands. I want to do it. I want to be part of my mission. And it's also the part of you that has the level of consciousness of knowing I can't just give into a vacuum and never receive or my mission is going to last about two weeks and then I will be drained and done, right, and out of money. So our lower self comes into our mission saying, I want something for me too. I want to be acknowledged. I want to be seen for who I am and all of the gifts I have. I want other people to say, hey, look what she's doing. That's pretty amazing because it will probably inspire them, right? But at the same time, it's just going to kind of feel good to me. And it's okay that it will feel good because I am doing something good. And also, I want to benefit in other ways. I want to be able to do this for a living so that I don't have a day job, which means I have to actually earn money doing this and I need that money for my 
physical body to eat food and to have experiences and to thrive and enjoy my life. So that's how our lower self brings a different level of energy and motivation that you actually need, 100% need. You cannot go after your mission without your lower self energies, without your lower chakras. So very similarly, when it comes to our money at our higher chakras, it's like there's unlimited abundance and whatever I need will be provided and prosperity and abundance are unlimited. There's infinite possibility of ways that I can give my gift and money will come back to me, yeah? And the lower self, the way our money works is, I also want some money that is just for me, that ends up all the way in my hand because the only way I can actually buy physical food is by actually having money in my hand. So our lower self remembers, I'm a physical person, I cannot eat abundance. I need cash, money, so that I can actually buy food and then have clothes to wear that represent the work I'm trying to do to live and to thrive in a way that I'm not drained and sick and in scarcity, that I actually enjoy my surroundings enjoy, and, and enjoy my life. So you need your lower self too. It brings that energy into your mission and into your money and allows you to take all of your levels like we don't want to get rid of any of our parts you have seven chakras for a reason we're not supposed to live in our seventh chakra just connected in oneness to god we are also supposed to live in our bodies and be physically connected to ourselves in our own body and actual other people and things in our life and so that's a very simple way of understanding how the higher self work and the lower self works. My issue always is that most personal development that we see out there, that is lecture based and inspiration based and meditation based and spiritual oneness based is beautiful and wonderful and fantastic, but is totally focused on the higher self. It's totally focused on our upper chakras. We're having a lot of inspiration. We're thinking of a lot of cool things. We are um, meditating. We're feeling more one. And what we really need to do now more than ever is do work in the lower chakras. And that's why I'm always training coaches that they need to dig deeper and actually do their own work in the lower chakras so they're more powerful and on fire and in their body and in their mission. And then they can do the same for their clients. Because when you want to work with a client, you don't want to just tell them, I'm going to help you connect to your mission of giving. Most clients would like you to also help them actually make money so that they can thrive and love what they do. So this is the work that I want to keep talking about so that you understand it, so that you see it, and that you can start looking at opportunities to move forward and do work that will actually be more holistic. It won't forget the lower self. It will actually holistically allow you to be more on fire and more fearless and earned more money and yet still have a mission. That is my mission anyway. This is Margaret Lynch. Let me know what you think. Let me know where you're from. Do you want more of this? Um, and I will answer you and make more videos. Again, this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping in 12th Coach Training Program. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.